His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the newly appointed President of Arabian Gulf University, the AGU, Dr. Saad bin Saud Al Fahid. His Majesty commended AGU's prominent role as one of the distinguished scientific and modern academic institutions embodying the cooperation between Bahrain and GCC countries. His Majesty welcomed the AGU President and wished him success in continuing the university's pioneering journey and developing its programs, curricula, and specialities. His Majesty also praised AGU's scientific and research contributions, lauding its achievements and distinguished position among various prestigious Arab and international universities. He recalled the efforts of AGU's former president, the late Dr. Khalid Abdurrahman Al-Ohili, and his role in serving the university. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain will continue to support the university as it continues to create generations that contribute to the progress and prosperity of GCC countries with their knowledge and qualifications. The AGU president expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King for Bahrain's support for the university to achieve its academic goals and visions. He added that the university has its headquarters in Bahrain since its establishment, praising the atmosphere that Bahrain created for the university's success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Director of the Wildlife Sector of Mafazat al Said, Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Kaabi, who presented His Majesty the King with his book entitled Wadi Ali, The Nature of Desert. His Majesty expressed thanks for the efforts exerted by Al Kaabi in compiling his valuable book, stressing that the new addition to the National Library would become a significant reference for wildlife and desert enthusiasts, wishing Al Kaabi continued success. Al Kabi expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty for his continuous support and follow up of this book, which comes within His Majesty's keenness to preserve the natural environmental resources of the kingdom, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 21 of 2023, amending Law 18 of 2006 with respect to social security, following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. Article 1, the definitions in clauses 1 and 2 of Article 1 of Law 18 of 2006 with respect to social security shall be replaced by the following. The Ministry, the Ministry responsible for social development. The Minister, the Minister responsible for social development. Article 2. A new paragraph shall be added to Article 3 of Law 18 of 2006 with respect to Social Security, which reads as follows. 
Article 3, new paragraph. The Cabinet may add new categories based on the Minister's proposal. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with a delegation from PWC Middle East at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness was briefed by the delegation on the development on PWC Middle East Regional Services Centre in Bahrain as part of the outcomes of His Royal Highness's recent visit to the UK. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to enhancing the development of its economic sectors to attract international investments and organizations that benefit the economy and Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness welcomed the PWC Middle East delegation to the Kingdom, highlighting Bahrain's long-standing relations with the UK and their bilateral cooperation across all fields. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of the role of consultancies in supporting financial, economic, industrial and health organizations to achieve their development goals. During the meeting, the plans and programs of PWC Middle East, its new regional services center and its role in supporting local and international companies and creating promising employment opportunities were reviewed. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the last meeting of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports for this year in the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the efforts of the SCYS in achieving the goals and visions of the Council through the implementation of various projects. He hailed the Masari project, which contributed to creating new opportunities for young people, refining their skills, preparing them for the labor market, which contributed to conveying a positive image of the Kingdom of Bahrain abroad. His Highness praised the Ministry of Labor's tireless efforts to provide job opportunities, provide specialized programs and courses for job seekers, and prepare them for the labor market. His Highness also praised the joint cooperation between the Ministry of Labor and Tim Keen and the joint efforts between the two sides to support and encourage value-added training and employment for Bahrainis in the private sector. The General Secretariat of the SCYS also reviewed the database of distinguished students where His Highness directed the formation of a work team to pay attention to this category and to make this project one of the Council's priorities. The SCYS also approved the Tomorrow Skills Conference, which will be held in the Kingdom of Bahrain in November 2024, in cooperation with the General Secretariat of the GCC with the aim of preparing Gulf youth for the labor market. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a number of ambassadors accredited to Bahrain, who contributed to supporting the sponsors of the Masari program in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Ayman Lim Ayyad. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty the King to the embassies of all brotherly and friendly countries, as well as the organizations and sponsors for their support of the Bahraini youth. His Highness affirmed the Masari program is one of the programs that determine the path of Bahraini youth and supports their endeavors towards developing their skills, hailing the outcomes of the program. He commended the cooperation of embassies and organizations with the affiliates of the Masari program and the provision of opportunities for the youth, wishing this cooperation provides opportunities for the Bahraini youth. His Highness Sheikh Nasser launched the Youth Supporting Program, which aims to encourage government and private institutions to support and encourage youth activities. He praised the cooperation between Bahrain and accredited embassies in the educational and cultural field or for the youth. His Highness honored the U.S. and Chinese embassies for the opportunities they provided for Bahraini youth. His Highness launched the Youth Supporter Mark, which is granted to youth supporting entities in appreciation for their efforts. He affirmed the importance of the private sector's role in developing society.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with a group of students benefiting from the Masari program. His Highness praised the skills, knowledge, and sciences possessed by the Bahrain students studying abroad, noting their importance in conveying a positive image of the kingdom. His Highness affirmed his full support of the program based on the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which emphasizes the importance of supporting and empowering Bahraini youth in a way that achieves the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown. Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in developing qualified and professional Bahraini youth cadres. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the last training session of first football team on the outdoor stadiums before his departure to Abha in Saudi Arabia to meet the Yemeni national team tomorrow. His Highness attended the last training of the football team and met the players and conveyed the team to them the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed the importance of continuing to enhance Bahraini football before the team participates in the double qualifiers for the 2026 World Cup and the 2027 Asian Cup. He urged the players to give their best, strive to preserve gains and enhance the image of Bahraini sports, noting the importance of increasing efforts to achieve the best results. His Highness expressed hope for their honorable representation and encouraged them to reflect their outstanding image of Bahraini football and its development, wishing the team further success. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the meeting with the Board of Directors of the General Sports Authority yesterday. His Highness praised the efforts made by the authority and its executive body in serving the sports sector, which are in line with the directors of His Majesty the King and the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. 
and the aspirations of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the strategy of the authority was revealed, which aims to promote the sports movement, support national clubs and federations, develop sports regulations and legislation, and organize the sector in a way that is consistent with the vision of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed the importance of implementing the strategy into a set of actual initiatives and projects that serve all pillars of the sports movement and contribute to developing the entire system for a more advanced future that enhances Bahrain's position in various external forums. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lim Salim, and the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, held a meeting in the presence of a number of Council members, the Minister of Parliament Affairs, and Chief of Public Security, in light of the cooperation between legislative and executive authorities and implementation of the Royal Directors of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Lim Salim hailed the efforts of the Interior Ministry to maintain security and stability and protect the civilizational gains with the support of the government led by His Royal Highness to continue the national efforts of enhancing the humanitarian and legal approach in the kingdom. He also commended the efforts of the Interior Ministry in implementing the goals of the plan to promote the spirit of national belonging and consolidate citizenship values Bahrainuna, affirming the parliamentary support to the security system in Bahrain. He also praised Bahrain society's awareness and commitment to achieving community partnership. For his part, the Interior Minister lauded the cooperation with the Representatives Council to support the national process led by His Majesty the King, noting the support and follow-up of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to implement the Royal Directors for the success of all the programs and initiatives adopted by the Ministry and Government Institutions. The Minister affirmed the role of the Speaker, Deputy Speaker and members of enhancing community security, hailing their positive contributions to supporting efforts towards maintaining security and national achievements. He added that the Council reflects the Kingdom's positive spirit and national approach that is based on peace and the values of understanding and tolerance. General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah noted that uh, security is a collective responsibility and requires maintaining communal cohesion and commitment to national responsibility. He highlighted the importance of the Council's role as a main partner in national work to achieve security and stability. The Shura and Representatives Councils held a joint meeting with the Supreme Council for Women to review the implementation of the National Plan for the Advancement of Bahraini Women and the National Model for Integrating Their Needs into the Development Path. The Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lim Salim praised the patronage of His Majesty the King and the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for Bahraini Women. For his part, the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh stressed that the meeting is an opportunity to inform the Shura and Representatives Councils for the latest developments in the National Plan for the Advancement of Bahraini Women. For her part, the Secretary General of the SCW, Halil Ansari, affirmed the Council's keenness, led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, to maintain and activate constructive and effective cooperation with the Legislative Authority and to build on the achievements made to achieve the sustainability of the progress of Bahraini women. Al Ansari praised the aspirations of Al Msallam and Al Saleh to enhance aspects of cooperation with the Council. The chairman of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced that the Tittiscape 2023, which is being held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, has been extended ne to next Saturday, corresponding to November the 18th, in response to the desires of visitors and developers. Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah said that the exhibition includes more than 58 projects with the participation of government agencies and the largest private sector developers from inside and outside the kingdom. It showcases the best local, regional, and international real estate projects and a group of investment opportunities provided by the government-led investment platform.
within the framework of Cityscape Bahrain 2023 exhibition, which is held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the conference accompanying Cityscape was launched. The chairman of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the accompanying event comes as an affirmation of Bahrain's keenness to keep pace with modern applications in the real estate sector. He pointed out the importance of digital transformation and its close connection to the concept of sustainability and its importance for future generations. The chairman of the board of directors of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Engineer Asam Khalaf, stressed that Bahrain's economic vision 2030 seeks through the government program 2023-2026 to establish the principles of sustainability, justice and competitiveness as the basic pillars of government work. The Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor al stressed the Kingdom's keenness to continue adopting initiatives that contribute to achieving the aspirations of sustainable development in order to achieve the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She pointed out to Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, which aims to diversify the economic base and enhance partnership with the private sector. After that, the CEO of Rira, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, announced the winners of the Bahrain Real Estate Innovation Competition. The CEO of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, stressed that the real estate sector is important to strengthen the national economy. He pointed out that the real estate sector has reached advanced levels of growth and development thanks to the keenness of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for opening the city's cave 2023, noting the importance of the exhibition in strengthening the competitive position of Bahrain in the real estate sector, making it one of the important investment destinations in the region. With creative and distinctive ideas, as well as unique and innovative solutions, the Bahrain Real Estate Innovation Competition concluded, which was organized by the Real Estate Regulatory Authority in an effort to supplement and enhance the National Real Estate Plan 2021-2024 to by honoring the top three winners in the presence of a number of senior officials and experts in the real estate and investment sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The cityscape uh, Bahrain is very unusual. It's uh, it's a new event. It's the second of its kind, and uh, I'm very pleased to be here. I think it's a good example that the government and the country are focused on the real estate in the country and development, and it's developing very well. I would like to thank the Real Estate Regulatory Authority for creating this competition that enables us to participate with innovative ideas related to sustainability. It's truly a great honor to be here. My project is Smart Sustainable Neighborhood. It's a vertical housing neighborhood that's going to be in Diyal Muharraq. It targets creating sustainable future for people and also enabling technological advancement. All the participating projects produce excellent and unique artistic, technical and scientific ideas in an effort to find realistic solutions. It's our second year in the Cityscape exhibition um, and we believe the second year is much better than the first year in terms of uh, organization, in terms of the number of visitors and, the, uh, and we aim to, uh, to get more, uh, more interested buyer for the second and the third day inshallah. The competition attracted various real estate institutions and entities, as well as employees in the field, thus making the Real Estate Regulatory Authority take confident steps in its efforts to develop and enhance this vital sector. The Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, attended the opening ceremony of the second edition of the Global Media Congress, the GMC 2023. The three-day event is held in Abu Dhabi under the patronage of Vice President, Deputy Prime Minister, and Chairman of the Presidential Court, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Dr. Naimi noted that the event provides an important platform to discuss the reality and future of the media industry regionally and internationally, as well as to exchange ideas and experiences. The Information Minister stressed that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and thanks to the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Kingdom pays growing interest to the media sector that would help serve its comprehensive development process. Dr. Naimi highlighted the UAE's media strides, praising the interest in investing in such a vital field. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the UAE for the role it is playing in upskilling GCC and Arab youth media competencies by holding such events, providing them an opportunity to benefit from the experiences of senior media professionals and academics from across media fields.
The Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, Sheikh Dr. Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa, participated in the 21st GCC Directors of Public Administration Institute's meeting in Amman. She affirmed Bahrain's readiness, represented by the IPA, to launch the award for the best innovative research and practices in cooperation with GCC Institutes of Public Administration and Administrative Development, which aims to produce and document practices and research with scientific standards in Arab and Islamic administration. Sheikh Dr. Rana explained that the launch of the award stems from IPA's belief in the importance of innovation. She pointed out that Bahrain charted an advanced strategic path in employing innovation and creativity mechanisms to come up with advanced development initiatives and projects. She added that IPA completed presenting a number of training initiatives in cooperation with the GCC General Secretariat. Bahrain's permanent representative to the UN, Ambassador Jamal Rawai, delivered a speech during the fourth session of the UN Conference on Nuclear Weapons. Bahrain affirmed the importance of implementing the decision of establishing the Middle East as free of nuclear weapons and other weapons of mass destruction. The permanent representative asserted that the use of nuclear weapons and the threat of using them is inconsistent with human principles and international humanitarian law. He reiterated Bahrain's affirmation of all countries' right to utilize peaceful nuclear power, adding that secret nuclear activities or nuclear facilities outside the supervision of the International Atomic Energy Agency threatens regional and international peace and security. He emphasized the importance of committing to transparency in the development of peaceful nuclear power programs and the utilizing it for realistic needs. The ambassador expressed Bahrain's aspiration that this session would build on the constructive discussions of the previous sessions. The Jeweler Arabia exhibition launched in its 31st edition with a wide variety of rare and exclusive designs of jewelry witnessed a wide participation. More on this report. 650 luxury brands of jewelry, watches and perfumes from all over the world came together under one roof in the Kingdom of Bahrain at Jewelry Arabia exhibition with some products that were specially designed to be displayed in this edition. We've been coming to the Bahrain exhibition from the last 10 years. We like coming here every year because of the variety of customers which we get every year. And we like how the organizers organize this event for us. And we're very excited and thrilled to participate in the coming years as well because we get new clientele every year. And we specifically manufacture jewelry for this show uh, well in advance so we make sure our customers get what they want we love we love to participate in the uh, bahrain jewelry show because it's the biggest in the middle east and uh, i hope it's going to be good for us and for everyone here three decades ago this exhibition positioned itself on the global level and became a major center for displaying precious jewelry and watches with classic contemporary and exclusive designs it's really been very lovely over here and uh setup and the people over here as well as the management is really very nice and the people are very welcoming people over here in Bahrain and they have been very helping for us over here. The best thing about Jewelry Arabia is the luxury that it brings to Bahrain. It is uh, the most amazing time of the year for jewelry enthusiasts to come and see the best of the designs that the world has to offer in one roof. So that's the best part about Jewelry Arabia. In this edition, the exhibition offers visitors a unique experience through the various pavilions that provide various products. Center Arabia 2023 was launched in conjunction with Cityscape Bahrain and Jewelry Arabia 2023 at Exhibition World Bahrain and Sakhir and was organized by Informa Markets, which will run until November 18th. More in this report. After the success of its first edition and winning the admiration of its exhibitors and visitors, Center Arabia 2023 returned with a new and advanced look to maintain its elegance and status as it brings together leading perfume makers to display the latest and finest perfumes from all over the world. This year's event brings a variety of activities including an interactive photography pavilion where visitors can take photos and explore different fragrances in addition to the pavilions of the participating Gulf, Arab and international countries. And we are so glad because the attendance today, it was so successful because you can see uh, the number of people from everywhere, uh, most of the ambassadors, they attend, a lot of the people from the royal family, all the big merchants, all they are available for this exhibition. And I'm sure that this is going to give a very good picture for Bahrain, you know, and for the uh, jewelry exhibition and perfume exhibition for Bahrain. 
The event presents the most famous international and local perfume makers with the aim of meeting the needs of a diverse group of perfume lovers in the region. The Economic Development Board is participating in the 8th session of the Singapore Financial Technology Festival, which will be held from November 15th to the 17th. Senior officials from the ADB and officials from the Central Bank of Bahrain and the Bahrain Fintech Bay will participate, in addition to representatives from a number of Bahraini companies. The Bahrain Pavilion also includes participants representing the financial services sector in the kingdom, with the aim of communicating and holding meetings with international participants. This participation coincides with the opening of the representative office of the ADB in Singapore, which is the first in the Association of North Southeastern Asian Nations region, which strengthens the board's strategic art network at the international level. The President of the Egyptian Senate, Councillor Abdel Wahab Abdel Razak, received the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Assoumi, in Cairo. He praised the efforts of His Majesty the King in strengthening Arab solidarity, establishing the foundations of security and peace, supporting joint Arab action and defending its just causes. The President affirmed his country's keenness to enhance cooperation and coordination with the Kingdom of Bahrain in a way that serves the common interest of the two countries.